Hey guys, Rob from Cigar Federation here with you at IPCPR 2016. I feel amazingly energized considering that it is the, it's the day four, right? And my voice is coming back, like I'm getting excited. Now that John's gotta leave, we're almost done with interviews, but my voice is back. We're here with Mike from Postania Cigars, right? Yes, I said it right? Yes sir, awesome. how you doing? How you doing? Doing all right, doing Good. okay. You guys are in, we're in the Roma Craft booth. Yes, and uh, your cigars come out of uh, Nicosuenia, correct? Correct. So tell us about the blends. Well, we have two separate blends. One is a Habano and one's a Broadleaf. Um, originally, we were going to re release one blend, but my brother and I went two totally different directions when we created <laughs> the blends, of course. So we put together a small amount of sampler packs, released them to our consumers, and let them vote. Um, the Habano had one, but it was by less than 2%. Oh, so, wow. you know, obviously there's there are two... There's a big difference between a consumer that wants a broadleaf and, and a habano. So you know, and because they're so bold and so far apart, we figured we might as well make both. So you went a little crowdsourcing on this one. We sure did. We nice. sure did. You know, always you always want to feed to the, take care of the consumer. Exactly. They're, they're the guys who are smoking it, right? I mean, why why not get their feedback? And been this cigar's been out for about a year and a half now. Um, about a year. It, it was we released it at first in our store, yeah. and then uh, come November of last year, we started releasing it to other retailers. Yeah. But in small quantities. Yeah. So, it, but it is available throughout the country, correct? Yep, it sure is. It sure awesome. is. And then you've got a limited as well. Yep. Uh, we made a limited edition. It's a Pennsylvania broadleaf with the Ecuadorian Connecticut barber pole. Uh, it's called SBC 16, which stands for Surrounded by Champions. Um, surrounded by Champions, just because we feel that it's good to acknowledge everybody who makes everything possible. I mean, Skip, Esteban, Michael, the Rollers, the box maker, the bands. I mean. None of that would be possible. I can I can take the good tobacco that's been put in front of me and put together something that I love or that I think would be great, but I couldn't look at a pilone and identify it and say that's going to be good tobacco. So you know, I, we felt that it was appropriate to acknowledge all those all the people for their efforts. Now, how is it that you ended up working with uh, Nicosuenio? Um, they just wouldn't leave me alone, man. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm sure it's exactly how it went. You know what's funny is uh, a good friend of mine back in the day sent me Aquitaine Adelattles, probably five years ago when they were just getting started it was unbanded i didn't think anything of it so i'm like oh thanks man i put it aside put it in my humidor and just left it alone about four or five months later he's like hey by the way did you ever smoke that cigar i'm like no i didn't i'll go smoke it right now i smoke it and i'm like this is amazing i should have smoked this five months right. ago right what the hell was i thinking so i instantly got in touch with michael and um ever since then man we've just been building and working with him and uh doing doing a good job um the, the good the, the cool thing is that every year that I'm here at IPCPR, um, Michael always weaseled me into doing work around the booth and you know showing showing people the ropes with Roma Craft stuff. And this is the first year that we're actually in the booth representing our own product. That's awesome. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, the, you guys picked uh, a really good a really good company to get aligned with. I mean, yeah. everything that's coming out of Roma Craft obviously is. I mean, you, you've been in the booth the whole time, so you know yeah. it's uh, it's crazy crazy popular. Um, they make such quality cigars. I haven't had a chance to smoke this yet. But, uh, and I'm, I'm sure it's right up there. You make quality stuff, nice price points. I mean, it's really kind of tough to beat what they're doing. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. And, you know, sometimes because the fact that quality is so high, you have quantity issues. But a lot of other companies, they would just turn around and make you something a little bit similar and, you know, fulfill those needs. Yeah. But these guys don't do that. So I they, they take their reputation pretty seriously. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when it comes well, to that kind of you know, thing. I mean, maybe, maybe not skip, but yeah. <laughs> You know, you know what I mean. I'm not, they're not serious guys, yeah, but they, no, they take it. Yeah, they take it pretty serious. I mean, oh, this, this is their product. I mean, same for you. I mean, this is uh, this is the product that's got the the name on it. So, um, yeah. awesome. That's great. Yeah, they're, Glad they're, to hear. they're absolutely great at what they do, and I wouldn't want to be with anybody else in yeah. this entire room. Yeah, sure. you know, you you definitely uh, aligned yourself well. Nicely done. Thanks, uh, appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. Yeah, thank you awesome. for having me, man. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks, guys, for checking out all of our Cigar Federation coverage of IPCPR 2016.